video we are going to be creating this heart by just using html css and javascript so if we click on this heart so here you can see it will now gives us this animation and the background color will be now set to fill okay so fill of crimson and now if we click it one more time so it will now gives us our gray heart so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and create our heart all right so to create a heart first of all we have to create a folder for that and i'm going to give a name of like 014 and hard inside this folder i'm going to create three files the first one will be index.html if i can spell it html and then we have style.css and then finally we have is like app.js all right so now let's work with the doc type html so i'll just write like doc type html and here i'll just write hard and link it with my css file and also my javascript file and then i'll right click on it and open it with a live server okay so then i'll move this to the left and also move this to the right and move this to the right and i'll collapse this metadata for now so we can see it better and now here what we have to do we just have to write like first div with the clause of gray heart and then we will duplicate it instead of gray heart just write a red heart right here so once we save our file so this is how it looks like right now nothing's showing up because we don't have any content whatsoever inside it okay so if i undo it so this is our gray heart and then we have a red heart right here so now let's jump right into a css and now let's work with the styling so the first thing i'll do is i'll just remove that adding and margin and first of all let me just write a box sizing border box then margin will be zero and padding will be also zero okay so save it everything is perfectly working then we have to declare our variable right here so i'll just give a name of like uh, main color and it will be this pound symbol and then dc143 and then c okay so this is our red heart color right now so we are going to be using that that's why i give a name of like main color and then the next thing which you have to do is to select our body and then display flags because we want everything to be center justify corner will be also center align items will be center and we have to give a height of 100 vh and then the background color will be just rgb and then we have a seven comma seven and then 20 server file and this is our bluish kind of color right here and everything will be perfectly centered once we just write our content in it and then let's dive into the first thing which is a gray heart okay so i'll just select my gray heart right now and then i want to give him a background color of totally gray like ccc display will be flex right now and then we have a justify corner of center align items of center height will be 100 pixel and width will be also 100 pixel okay and then we have to do we have to just write a position relative to it because you are going to be writing um because you are going to be writing a before and after selector so that's why we are using a relative position and top will be zero and transform will be just like um minus 45 degree 45 deg okay so transform or rotate will be 45 degree all right so here you can see now we get this kind of shape right here because we are rotating our heart so if you comment this line out so here you can see we have this perfect rectangle right here and if you uncomment it and save it and now here you can see we have this kind of shape right here all right so this is about a gray heart so now let's work with the before and after selectors so i'll just write like gray heart and then i'll select my before and then comma then gray heart one more time and then after okay so select both of them then the, as a content i'll provide nothing and background color will be totally gray and then border radius will be 50 percent and then height will be 100 uh, pixel and width will be also 100 pixel okay and then we just have to provide a position absolute to that because we want this shape to be inside this relative position right here okay so this is about a before and after selector so let's suppose we change the color to like something else like uh i don't know zero 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 or nine 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 would be fine so here you can see we have this circle right here because we provide a um, border radius of 50 pixel so that's why we are getting this circle right here inside the other shape okay so uh let me change the color to ccc one more time and this is now looking good then we have to jump right into the each of them like first of all let me select this gray heart and then we have to work with the before and now let's change the top value to like minus 50 pixel and the left to zero 
zero file and now we get our first um, portion of the heart and now let's duplicate it and now let's work with a after save it and instead of minus 50 i'll just write a 50. so here you can see we get our pill kind of shape right here and it should be at the top and by the way this should be a left save it and now here you can see we get our perfect heart right here okay so this is quite simple and easy so now let's work with our uh, red heart so i'll just come it out right here and then red heart so the first thing that you have to do is to just write our uh, red heart right here and the background color will be that war which we declare like main color and then we have a display of legs and we have a justify content of center because we want everything to be at center so a line item will be also center height will be 100 pixel and width will be also 100 pixel and position absolute because the first this one was position relative where are you so now we want this red heart to be inside that position relative so that's why we are providing a position absolute to it so once we serve file so this is what we get so here you can see we now get our shape right here so all of the properties and the values will be the same like this one so we have to just do a little bit of changing in there so the next thing which you have to do is to just write a red heart and then we have to select or before comma red heart and then after okay so now we select both of them then we have to just provide a content and background color will be totally the main color which we just declare up above and then border radius will be 50 percent and width will be 100 pixel and height will be also 100 pixel and then position will be totally absolute so once we save it that is going to happen right now because we have to just select each of them so red heart and then first of all we have a before and then we have to just provide as a top value of minus 50 pixel then duplicate it and let's change the value of left to just zero and save it okay so this is our pill kind of shape right now and now let's duplicate this line of code and then instead of before i'll change this to after instead of top i'm going to just change this to left and instead of minus i'm going to change this to like just 50 and instead of left i'm going to change this one to top save it and this is looking a bit awful so we forgot to include the rotation from like minus 45 to just 45 where is it or at heart so here we have it and then we have to just write like transform and then rotate it will be minus 45 degree save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so now we have to just write our animation right here so then we have to write keyframe identifier will be pop and now 100 percent so we want the transform to just uh, scale um 1.7 percent and then rotate to minus 45 degree 45 degree and now here we have to just provide a visibility so now if we provide opacity of zero because this one will be opacity of one let me add a class to them so i'm gonna write like red heart and then dot animation okay so we are going to be using these clauses once we jump right into a javascript so animation will be first of all the name will be pop the duration will be 0.99 seconds and timing function will be just linear and i'm going to delete the rest of them so this is how it looks like right now and now let me write one more clause which we are going to be using in a javascript but we are not going to be using it right now which will be like just write a hard dot fill dash color okay so we are going to be using that in a javascript and the background color will be just totally main colored cell file and nothing's going to happen right now because we didn't add any javascript to it okay so i guess everything is working the way we expect to work so now let's jump right into a javascript and now let's do our things so i'll just zoom out a bit and then just make this one a little bit smaller and then i guess zoom in a bit so the first thing i will do is i'll just select that gray heart and then i'll just write document.query selector of that gray heart okay so now let me just uh duplicate it one more time I guess i messed up a bit <laughs> let me zoom out a bit all right so duplicate it and instead of that gray heart now let's select our red heart and here it will be also red heart right here okay so if you want to check that so you're going to just write like gray heart and duplicate it and then we have a red heart 
and then let's open our dev tools really quickly to the bottom and then if you hover our mouse over to it so this is our gray heart and this is our red heart right here so both of them is working the way spam to work and now let's delete these console logs from here and then zoom in a bit and now let's just provide uh, event listener to the gray heart first of all so once we click on this uh, gray heart so now you want to fire this uh, function right now so the red heart we already select that we want to provide a class list of this animation animation which we wrote right here just a second ago we want to just provide this animation so, so once you click on the gray heart so we want this animation to happen uh, and then we also want this gray uh, heart and we want to provide a class of then fill color which we wrote right here where are you uh, fill color which we wrote right here and by the way i forgot to include a visibility of none and the visibility of hidden to be precise so it should be hidden for now so first of all okay not here but here so it should be visible so once we click on this card so this animation will happen did i just uh yeah i did select that click on that nothing gonna happen i don't know why because you selected the animation but we didn't provide the visibility to visible so once we save it and now this is gonna pop up so once you click on that nothing's gonna happen because it should be also red heart now let's duplicate this line of code and then instead of gray heart we are going to be just selecting on the red heart and let's just remove these glosses from there like remove save it and now if you click on that so here you can see this is going to happen so if we click on the red one so it will now remove those you know, classes from here if i click on that it will give us this animation and also this background red color so if you click on that so that red color will be gone and that fill color will be also gone like their animation will be also gone so if you click on that and here you can see our heart is now working the way we expect him to work and i apologize about a mistake because this video is in scripted so <laughs> this is going to happen so now let me refresh that if you click on the gray heart so this heart animation will going to happen and if you click on the red heart so it will give us this gray heart right here okay so now if you guys don't know about getting github so jump right into the next video and if you guys do know about getting github and want to push your code into your github repository so then join me i'm gonna just push my code into my github repository so i'll just use like get add and not get add, but first of all get status and then i'm gonna just use get add and then everything and now get commit dash m um heart project and now if i hit enter then get push origin main and hit enter and it will now push our code into our github repository and now if you refresh so it will give us this heart right here if you click on that here is our javascript code and here is our html code and here is our css code right here so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye